the National Retail Federation, 17% of shoppers say that they start researching holiday purchases before September. 8% reported making purchases before the start of autumn. And joining us to talk all about it is Jared Mitchell, the CEO of the e-commerce consulting company, Beefy Sites. Uh, Jared, so great to have you on. Um, it is our very first holiday season in the era of COVID-19. So how can businesses prepare their online stores for this increase in virtual shoppers? Scary, right? The first holiday season. Well, one thing that we like to do that's a little off kilter is we throw a Christmas party in July just to get everyone in the right mindset. I think the whole psychology around the season has to really kick in and it's starting much, much earlier this year. So we make sure everyone on staff is on the same page. And first things first, can we make sure that our website does not go down on the most important weekend or season of our year? So no matter your business, get in touch with your host or shopping cart provider and ask the tough questions. How can we overly prepare for an influx in traffic? What are all of my options? How do I overdo it? Like most hosts allow overflow, but sometimes you just have to ask them to turn it on. Ask not, have not. Um, what is the importance of tech infrastructure going into this year's holiday season? Um, dare we even need to ask? Yeah. Well, I am glad you asked that, Jill, um, because the importance, I would say, is everything. The largest e-commerce business in the entire United States went down for about an hour recently. They lost up to $100 million in sales, okay? So in addition to beefing up your hosting, one thing that's usually overlooked when people are preparing for the holidays is making sure that their website actually not only loads but that it loads fast, not just on desktop, but on mobile people. That's like how people are shopping now, right? So let's beef up your page load times and site speed times as much as possible. Let's optimize them. And it usually starts by reducing image sizes. That can usually reduce the load speed of your pages by like a ton just by focusing on those images. Uh, many enterprises do need to reassess whether their e-commerce platforms can handle this time of year. How can leaders ensure that their infrastructure is actually reliable? Yeah, it's a toughie um, and it's a tough one to answer because it can vary so much from all these different sizes and types of businesses that we audit. But let's put some measures into place, okay? Black Friday, Cyber Monday, there is someone on my staff because we have e-commerce stores and I basically tell them they're not gonna sleep those days, which isn't true. But the, the point is like you have to have someone monitoring your site every single moment. And if you can't have a person do it, then hire software to do it. There are pieces of software you can implement into any website that will actually call you on your phone when the thing goes down. So let's do it, okay? And then are we doing anything in regards to preventative maintenance? It should be routine at your company, okay? For your data, for your equipment, for your software. Security, let's establish extra risk management processes and pri prioritize efforts to critical infrastructures, right? Meet with your team and spell these things out, people. Create a what if a meltdown occurs plan and have a backup plan. Um, on that note, empowering remote workers during this busy season is also going to be helping businesses to thrive. So what tools should workers have in place for when demand inevitably surges? Yeah, I love this question because it's time to get rid of Uncle Harry's old laptop, okay? Let's get our workers some good equipment, some good cameras, maybe a ring light if they have to be on camera a lot. You know, it depends on what type of business you're in. But here's a biggie. I mean, raise your hand if your internet speed was terrible during the lockdown. Get your workers upgraded internet speed, right? And then the other thing that everyone always overlooks is why not make sure your, your workers can hardwire their computer to the internet. The speed will be faster, they will be more productive, and you don't have to worry about when Wi-Fi kicks out, right? Um, absolutely, nothing worse than slow internet. Uh, what are some ways uh, to improve the checkout experience and or the pickup experience? 
Well, I think of it like decorating our houses. We all decorate for like fall, Halloween, Christmas. Let's decorate the website and let the world know that we are relevant and that they are ready to shop for the holidays. So we always change our logo and our header and our footer. We don't change our branding. We just add some spice in there, maybe some snowflakes. And then there's four things that most e-commerce businesses overlook when they're trying to improve the checkout process. And it has to do with cross-selling, upselling, and downselling. The first is a pre-purchase order bump. The second is a cart page bump. The third is a post-purchase one-click upsell. And lastly, put an offer on your thank you page. Most companies do not take advantage of these customer touch points. Therefore, they're not garnering enough sales from the holiday season. All right, Jared Mitchell, CEO of Beefy Sites. Great to have you on, appreciate it.